Hey, it's your pal from Bark, and today we're going to take a look at menu number 15, Mexican style chicken stew. If I remember that, yeah, Mex Mexican style chicken stew. I received this from Steve from the Traversing Food Channel as I uh, won his 1,000 subscriber contest, and I'm trying to talk and do this peelable seal in a total cool move, and I'm not accomplishing that. So be it. Yeah, she's peeling now. Let's get the goodies on the table. We have lots of good stuff here. We got the first strike energy bar, cinnamon apple flavored. Our ration heater, the cracker, jalapeno cheese spread. Great combo right there. Chocolate hazelnut coffee. Zapple sauce, not my personal favorite, but it's okay. I find it a little overly sweet. Cheddar cheese pretzels. I've not had this before. Very looking, much looking forward to trying those out. And of course, the bag of Mexican stew. Here's your nutritional data on the Mexican stew. Kind of interesting. Only 200 calories. It's not very much. A lot of these mains are closer to 300 to 350. Or at least 280. Well, I got the uh, FRH loaded up in here. Hopefully she kicks off and make, gives me a hot dinner because I'm pretty hungry. While I wait for that main to heat, let's go ahead and get everything else out onto the tray. So uh, here is our first strike apple cinnamon bar, seen many, many times before. Well, it's kind of sticky. Head of blends right into my tray. That's like perfect camouflage right there. Here's our zapple sauce, which is supposed to be consumed probably out of that point. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it into this area right here. Not too shabby. I'm going to go ahead and open up these cheese crackers. Oh, it's combos. Been waiting. You know, you would think I've had these before. I mean, I've had them like in real life, but not in a ration. I gotta eat one right now. Yummy. Unless we forget, there is the accessory pouch. Let's go ahead and bust that open right away. Not much going on in here, really. Well, oh, my drink is sticking. Got some uh, beverage-based raspberry. I'm gonna guess that's sugar-free based on the size. Some gum, salt, moist toilet. Oh, red pepper for the uh, Mexican-style chicken and some old teepee. I'm gonna go ahead and whip open my crackers from 2017. I forgot to get the hiss in there. Oh, well, you've heard hisses before. This is not any big news. There's some, there's some good looking crackers right here. I really like it when the edges get a little toasty. Go ahead and give that a little bit of, I was gonna say, I was gonna give a little bit of open, I gave a whole bunch of an opening. That's good stuff right there. Jalapeno cheese spread on a cracker. A little bit of goodness right there where you can see it. It's not holding up too good. For some reason, it's like extra crumbly. Oh man, I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit off of the, it's just falling apart. It's like a skyscraper in a hurricane or a earthquake movie. So I just went ahead and pushed the crumbly bits into the main tray where I'm going to put my chicken stew uh, because I was probably going to do that anyways. But I am going to finish this cheese on here. God dang, that is so good. If I can get it out of the pouch. Well, I went ahead and ate all my cracker with the jalapeno on it. I'm a little thirsty, so let's go ahead and give this raspberry uh, drink a go. There's really not much in there. It's totally a. Uh, well, it smells good though. It smells like raspberry, right? Oh, look at that. That's actually really good. It has. Uh, gosh, I'm trying to. It, it's not like it doesn't. It kind of tastes like raspberry. I mean, it's obviously artificial. 
but it gives you the, a, a kind of a raspberry bite to it. I really enjoy this. That's actually really good. And now comes the taste test of the overly sweet Zapple sauce. You know what, if they made this just a little bit thicker, had just a wee bit of actual fruit in there, it would be good. Just a little texture would make this awesome. Well, the FRH didn't work, so I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy some room temperature Mexican style stew. At least the tear notch broke off nice. It looks pretty decent. Oh, I see corn in there and there's chicken. Actually, looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and just pour it right out. I will say the first thing that hits you is the smell of Mexican seasonings, which is going to be the green chili pepper that's in there. It smells fantastic. It's very appetizing. There's not that much. There's a few pieces of chicken in here. Like there's one, a couple, three. But really it's not very much. Which It's only 200 calories, so you know what were you expecting. Let's go ahead and give her a bite. No joke, even cold, this is really delicious. I mean it, I can't, it's good. I'm going to eat this whole thing. Just because people like to see this kind of stuff, I'm going to go ahead and bust up one of my combos into my chicken stew. That's actually really good. Mm. That was actually so good. I busted up three more combos, stuck them in there. Yummy. Wow, I actually feel kind of bad. I forgot I had the red pepper flakes. It tasted so good, I didn't even need that or the salt. So I'd probably just maybe save those for something else. Let's give the old towel that a try because I my hands are a little dirty. You can see I powered through that whole meal. My drink is a little light looking because I went ahead and put another uh, shot of water into that glass trying to get whatever little bit of flavor was left in that out of that pouch which by the way was zero. Who weird this is like bone dry well it's not it's almost completely dry it's just a uh, there's nothing to it that's weird it's it's only two years old it smells like nothing well I am <laughs> this thing has glued itself down I am completely stuffed I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the thing that you guys have all seen a hundred times before. These are fantastic. I love these so much. I'm going to eat just a little bit just to give you a little taste tester. If you guys have never had these before, um, they're really good. I've had, I think, all the different flavors and all of them are fantastic. This one is apple cinnamon. And what I like about it is the cinnamon isn't overpowering. Although I wish it would have a little bit more apple flavor to it. But those Rice crispy Crunches in the middle just make it so much fun to eat. Once again, I was going to say I am a member of the Clean Plate Club. Although I did not finish this bar, I will do it. Honestly, I would probably have saved that for later because I am so full from the stew and the crackers and the other crackers. I'm going to look for this menu again. This is probably my number one favorite U.S. menu right now. And I would even heat it up the next time I just crack, oh shoot, crack the wrapper, put my crackers in it, and spoon it into my face. I shall sample the chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder. Here we go. Hazelnut cocoa beverage powder is still pretty hot. Wow. I actually like that. Usually I don't uh, like hazelnut flavor in anything at all. But it's not overly powerful. It still tastes more like cocoa. Man, that's really good actually. Hey, just to wrap this up, a huge thanks to Steve from Traversing Food. Look down below there for a link to his channel. That was a fantastic ration. The thing that really struck me is usually when I try one of the U.S. mains, there's like a weird aftertaste in my mouth. 
like it, you can taste that artificial flavoring and in this one it just tasted really like a good dish you would make yourself and I didn't get any of that weirdness that I normally get the tongue coating really good one I'm gonna be looking for this one again I'm definitely gonna be eating it some more and uh, God I hope you guys enjoyed this video catch you later